In this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to tune RJ Pilot Rover's steering turn rate controller. The vehicle that I'm using is a Thunder Tiger Toyota Hilux RC car. It's got a Cube Autopilot. Uh, for telemetry I'm using the ESP8266 board from Adafruit. Uh, the transmitter is the top of the transmitter and the uh, ground station is the mission planner. In order to see the desired and actual turn rate in real time, uh, connect the vehicle through telemetry, then go to the config tuning screen, and in the search box, type in GCS PID, and then you should see the GCS PID mask, set this to one for steering, and then press right. Then back on the flight data screen, make sure that at the bottom, the tuning checkbox is checked, then double click on the graph, and when the big window pops up, make sure that PID desired and PID achieved are selected. We're going to be tuning the turn rate controller in acro mode, but before we do that, uh, we want to know actually what the maximum turn rate of this vehicle is. So we put it into manual mode, we arm it, uh, and then we raise the throttle and steering. Drive it around now at full speed in tight circles, and we see that it's achieving about... 80 or 90 degrees per second. So then we go over to the config tuning page. We set the acro turn rate, reduce it from 180 to 80. Next, we're going to drive the vehicle in acro mode up and down the street, doing tight corners along the way and checking the uh, achieved versus desired in the crown station. So I can see that the achieved is not at all reaching the desired. So that means that the gains are far too low. Come back to the config tuning, basic tuning page and increase the feed forward. I'm gonna double it to 0.4 in the right parameters. Try some more. It's better, still not enough. So I'm going to come back to the config basic tuning screen and increase the feed forward to 0 0.8. Driving down the street, we can see it's still not measuring up. Not terrible. Still not enough. Looks like it needs another 50% maybe. So we're going to increase the feed forward again from 0.8 to 1.2. And normally as the feed forward goes up, we should also increase the P and the I. So I'm going to double these to 0.4 each. There we go. Keep going. Definitely better. Pretty close now. Still a little too low. But not terrible. Try little corners, more gentle corners. Seems to be doing quite well. So slow corners are seem quite good. Oops, crashed into a Yeah. So now the achieve seems to be quite close to desired. It's not perfect, but it's it's quite good. All right, so it's all tuned up now. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful in explaining the basics, at least, of getting the uh, steering turn rate controller tuned properly. 